Well, there is a potentially game-changing breakthrough in brain cancer treatment. A new vaccine could delay the progression of one of the deadliest forms of the disease and help extend a patient's survival time. Yeah, so in a small clinical trial, the experimental vaccine, Cervaxim, extended life expectancy by more than two years with patients who have an aggressive form of brain cancer, brain cancer that typically lasts only 12, uh, with a 12 to 18 month survival timeline. This breakthrough was first reported by our NBC colleague, Berkeley Loveless joining us uh, now to discuss this revolutionary advancement it is NBC News medical contributor Dr. Uche Blackstock. Dr. Blackstock, break this down for us. How is this vaccine slowing the progression of this type of brain cancer? And is it just a one and done shot or more right. complicated? Well, thank you so much for having me, Elson. So this vaccine is a type of immunotherapy. You give a vaccine and essentially your body creates antibodies mm -hmm. to the tumor cells. So this vaccine essentially targets a protein in the tumor cells called survivin. Mm. Okay, and so essentially patients have to receive the vaccine um, over a two month period. They get four doses and then a booster dose every two months after that. So this vaccine develops antibodies to essentially kill the tumor cells because wow. they have that survivin protein in them. That is really amazing and encouraging news. What yeah. were some of the results from the early clinical right. trials? And also, let's talk about some of the side effects or possible health consequences. Sure. Too. So people should realize that these are very early clinical trials. They're phase two clinical trials. They're small, about 63 patients. Mm -hmm. And so they showed that they actually increased the median uh, survival time to uh, about, actually average rather, to about 26 months. Wow. So from 12 to 18 months to an average of 26 months, which is significant. Yeah. And the side effects are similar to that of any vaccine, sort of, you know, fever, muscle aches, some redness in the area of the vaccine and some itching. So pretty mild side effects. Yeah. So essentially this vaccine is pretty well tolerated. It's considered safe for patients so far. Wow. In the trials, the brain cancer that this is focused on dealing with is glioblastoma, right? Is this uh, something that could be used to treat other types of tumors and remind viewers why that particular type of brain cancer right. has such a short life expectancy. Yeah, so glioblastoma, unfortunately, by the time that it's diagnosed, it's advanced significantly. By the time people are having symptoms because of the tumor, you know, it's pretty, pretty advanced. And so that is one point. The other point is that it infiltrates the brain tissue as well as the spinal cord tissue. So even if you have surgery, it's very hard to remove all of the tumor cells. So that's why it's very difficult to treat and resistant uh, to treatment. And that's why we need, you know, this kind of vaccine that could actually improve the life expectancy of people uh, with glioblastoma. Yeah, we were just looking at that survival rate past mm -hmm. five years. The st statistic is right. only 6.8 percent. That is not good. No. What about this vaccine being used as a potential treatment for other forms of cancer, right. not just glioblastoma? So we know that there are similar vaccines. One, they're called checkpoint inhibitors. They, they work very, very well for breast cancer and lung cancer. Oh. However, not so great for glioblastoma multiforme because of the brain-blood barrier. There is essentially this filter that prevents medications from getting to the brain. But the hope is that this vaccine will help be able to help treat brain cancer because it can get through the blood-brain barrier. It also can help potentially with multiple endocrine tumors or multiple myeloma. So other types of vaccines, the same company is investigating whether the vaccine can be useful for those tumors as well. That is wow. really fascinating. And yeah. I just learned something about the blood brain barrier. I hadn't yes. heard of that before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Uche Blackstock, thank you so much for breaking that all down for thank us. You. And that is some hope for uh, victims of glioblastoma. Mm -hmm. yes. So thank yes. you. Yes. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.